Hello and host friends, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. I've got a lot of comments and suggestions to create an intro video tutorial like mine. So here we go. Today in this video we are going to create an intro tutorial using Premiere Pro. So before we start our tutorial, as always, let's roll our intro. Here we are in our Premiere Pro and I already have two folders in my project. In this overlay folder, I have some overlay effect which I will give the download link in the description below. Next, I have files folder where of course you're gonna add your own files. In this folder, I have my own video and image files which I will be using in this tutorial. So let's create a new sequence first. Let's rename it as a final sequence. I have some intro sounds and I have selected this to work on. This music has fed out effects so I'm gonna fix it by adding keyframe automation. Hold control and click on the volume line again at the end and raise it all the way up. Let's drag and drop our first video clip. And please try to synchronize your video with your music beats. That will make your video more satisfying. So I'm gonna trim this video according to the music beat. I'm gonna nest it and rename it as video one. Let's add a text, select type tool, and I'm gonna type here, INTR intro. Resize it and of course center align it. You can use any bold font and this font is called Source Sense Pro. Let's add overlay on top and change the blending mode to screen. So let's create a random glitch effect. For that we're gonna add an adjustment layer. So let's go to project, go to the new item, adjustment, click OK. Drag and drop the adjustment layer on top and trim it maybe 5 frames. Go to the effect. Search for the transform. Drag and drop the transform effect on our adjustment layer. Go to the effect control down here. We have transform effect added. Let's scale it up to maybe 250 and let's go to the motion and let's uncheck the uniform scale and play with the scale and position to create a glitch like effect. Again, copy the adjustment layer a few times more to create a very random glitch effect. Select all the adjustment layer, copy it and randomize the scale and position for the perfect glitch effect. Let's add one more adjustment layer and scale it something like so. Nest all this file and rename this as scene 1. Let's add one more adjustment layer and trim it like so. Go to the effect and search for offset. Drag and drop the offset effect to our adjustment layer. Go to the effect control. In the offset effect, we have three mask options. So let's create a mask like this. Let's add a keyframe on the sip to center. Add a keyframe, go to the last frame and add another keyframe by changing the value to something like 1700, which looks like this. Copy the adjustment layer, go to the effect and control. Change the position of marks to right side and reverse the keyframe which looks like this. Let's add next clip. Nest it and rename it as video 2. Double click on the scene 1 sequence, copy all the adjustment layer, paste on video 2. 
Randomize the adjustment layer, also change the scale and position of the adjustment layer. Add some movements by adding some keyframe also and and of course you can use your own creativity select all the layer and nest it let's rename this as scene 2 Let's add a smooth zoom in transition. So to create a smooth zoom in transition, let's go to the project, drag and drop the adjustment layer and trim it to maybe eight frames. Go to the effects, search for replicate, drag and drop the replicate effect to the adjustment layer. Go to the effect control, change the replicate count value to three, which looks something like this. So we have very hard edges on all the replicate. So let's smooth it by dragging mirror effect. So go to the effect, search for mirror, drag and drop the mirror effect to our adjustment layer. Go to the effect control and in the mirror effect, change the reflection angle to 90 degree and change the position value to 718 which covers the hard edges. Again copy the mirror effect by pressing ctrl plus c and ctrl plus v. Change the reflection angle to minus 90 degree this time. So change the position to 360. Again copy the mirror effect, change the reflection value to 180 degree, change the horizontal value of the position of the ship center to 641. Again let's copy the mirror effect one more time, this time reflection value to 360, horizontal value of the ship center or the position is 1278. Let's go to the project, drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of our adjustment layer and trim it like so. Let's go to the effect search for transform, drag and drop the transform effect to our adjustment layer. Let's go to the effect control and in the transform effect change the value of shutter angle all the way to 360. Add keyframe on the scale, go to the last frame and change the scale value to 300. You can move the keyframe closer or further if you want your transition to be slow or fast. And you can add some effect to make more engaging. This tutorial is already very long so hope I already gave you some rough idea. Just keep adding videos and images, nest it and add adjustment layer, randomize the effects and try some movements. So, so this is how we create the intro video in our Premiere Pro. Sorry for the inconvenience, I haven't completed the intro video because it has a very similar repeating process. So hope you understand if you have any confusion please do comment. If you like this video please do like and if you want more videos like this please do subscribe and thank you for watching peace